So before we put our glue on, we're going to do a, a rehearsal here. Make sure that all of our clamps are adjusted uh, and ready to go because once that glue, we got a lot of glue to put on uh, and the first portion that we'll put on might start setting up. So we want everything to be ready. And we want to put a lot of clamps on there, every clamp that I got. All right, these are my big clamps. I've got some smaller ones that I'll throw on on the end, but they're, they adjust pretty quick. Uh, a pretty fun, uh, clever little clamp are these here. I got these from my, uh, two were from my dad and two from my granddad. I've got four of them. They're just uh, little clamps that just slid onto a, uh, a threaded pipe nipple. Like you can get the, at Home Depot here. This one's black iron. This one's galvanized. And you can, uh, you can get those long. You can make long clamps as you want. These are four footers. And those are, uh, if you ever come across those at a garage sale, boy, snap them up. They still make them, but uh, neat little clamps. So what I did here is, is I really uh, uh, scrutinized every board and got the, the best side is going to be up. This is going to be the top of one section of our workbench. And so as you can see here, I got real fortunate um, by getting some really good, nearly clear 2x6s very few knots there uh, just just a couple little ones there but i'm real pleased with that i i, I uh don't don't think i could have done any better so uh we'll take the clamps are all adjusted and we'll take i'll take all these off now i'm going to use uh just regular uh, uh tight bond glue it's an uh, indoor glue because this is not an outdoor bench i uh when i first started using gorilla glue, glue i really liked it the more I used it, uh, the less I like it. So I, um, I'm going back to the, the tried and true here. So let me pull these clamps and let's uh, stick this thing together and let it sit for 24 hours. I want these to be laminated in the same order and so I'll make a, a V. That way I know it'll always go back the way I had it. All right, here we go. So I've got, uh, got it sitting up here on my clamps. And zigzag and then all the way along the edge. Slide them together a little bit there. And here's the one we're looking for. Last one. All right, so we'll flush the ends. So let's flush the ends again. That's good, lots of glue on there. Sliding real nicely. Make sure your clamps are square. You don't want them pulling at an angle, it'll pull your lamination out of an angle. Alright, we're going to start squeezing this together. Now these clamps are kind of shallow. See they're not, they're only pushing on the bottom portion of the, of the uh, laminated uh, top there. So we want to uh, be sure that we put 
one on the top here in the middle. We'll get these snugged up and then we'll take a look at the edges. Yeah, I can, can hear the glue work in there. Squeezing out. All right, not too much pressure here, just a little bit. Now let's come over to these edges. Now this clamp has a much deeper throat, so it will, uh, we can clamp it right in the middle. We can see our, uh, our kind of teeter-totter here, so let's get a, we want to bump this down. and match these up here a little bit. that. So that's every clamp that I own, so we can take our shavings here and wipe off the big globs of glue, and that'll help it to dry faster. Here's the bottom side. You can see the glue squeezing out the joints. You know, in hindsight, I would have, should have put a piece of plastic or throwaway board on my bench there, so I don't have to scrape up all that glue. And I would have used a little bit more glue next time. I've got some of these joints that that it did not squeeze out of, and I just can't get my clamps any tighter than they are. But um, it's. Uh, the die is cast now, so uh, the next one we'll just uh, learn from those mistakes. But I think uh, I think that's going to be one sturdy section of carpenter's bench, huh? Whew, that's a hard day's work. Regarding video length of this series, it seemed that the most of you uh, preferred uh, about a 15 minute video and I think that's a good time. However, uh, sometimes uh, there's just a point where the video is done and it may not make that 15 minutes and that was kind of the case today so it was about 10 minutes. But, but uh, I'll try to strive when I'm doing my edit for around the 15 minute time. I think that that um, is uh, probably a sweet spot. So a couple questions here. Uh, we've got, I've got to determine the thickness of this bench. Of course, a two by six we know is five and a half inches thick. How far should we plane it down? What do you think is appropriate for this size bench? Five inches, four inches, three and a half? Uh, let me know what you think about that. Um, I'm kind of um, undecided on that myself. So in the meantime, I've got some fun videos for you. Top left is our annual broom hockey on our frozen pond. Right is uh, fixing frozen pipes. That was our first cold winter and uh, had some issues with our well. 
Uh, bottom left is my musing on a winter trek on my skis, Odyssey, and a little bit of uh, philosophy, I guess, why we moved out and how it's affected me getting out of the city and spending time um, in the country. And bottom right is our first big snow, our big winter when we got about three and a half, four feet of snow, and what that was like moving into the homestead when things were not quite ready. So thanks for watching. Please take a moment to click the thumbs up, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Mm -hmm.